Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using a Texa IDC5 software. We're going to be connecting to a 2016 Mark Cruiser 6.2 liter. So we'll go ahead and enter the software and select inboard. We'll move the mouse over here to the M. We'll come down here to Mark Cruiser. We'll go over to the 6. And we'll come down here to the model we're connected to, that MPI DTS MCM. So I included a picture to see where we're actually connecting to that AM44 on that Terminator. If you come here to the film strip, you'll see there's two different cables you can use. The AM44, which we're using, or you can use the AM01 CAN plus the AM25. Those are the older cables, but they work the same way. So we'll go ahead and connect here. We'll make sure the ignition is turned on and we'll do the little system scan. Okay, so the first page is going to pop up as a faults page. And you see we don't have any. The parameters, we're going to go ahead and run through those. There's 84. Now, if you didn't want to see all 84, you can go to that little hourglass icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and you can select which parameters you want to see. Um, we'll go ahead and graph a couple of these injector pulses out. Okay, you'll see those. Uh, you can also use that... Uh, piece of paper with the star on the bottom left that's going to be your favorites parameters so you can have your favorites listed in there and those can be changed at any time scroll through the rest of these go ahead and graph that RPM out so you can see that Okay, so your status page, you're going to have the gear position, your catalyst monitoring, a couple switches in there, you know, other things like that, um, your misfires. Okay, your ACU information, and your activations, that's where you're going to find all your uh, tests you can do. Obviously, you can see the engine history, you can pull that up, um, your freeze frame deletion, fuel pump, your starter output, and then you have your settings. We'll go ahead into the lever configuration so you can see that. This is where you're going to have to go to uh, configure the levers. We'll go to the bottom and select the, the most uh, recent one. And you can see we're using the same cables as we did with the engine. Okay, so we'll make sure the ignition's on again. And there you'll see our parameters. We only have three, so not a whole lot of information, but it's it's there. Your status, we'll see the switches and starboard engine start, stop, emergency cord pulled, things like that. And your settings, that's where you're going to find that lever configuration. So if you wanted to see a little bit more information, just click on that question mark. It's going to give you some information on that lever configuration. And then as you go through the software, I'll walk you through how to do that. We got a little paper there that's going to give you the information on that lever configuration. Your DTS system description, your vessel integration panel, things like that. Okay, so I exit out of there. I minimize that. And you can see we have the lever and helm control module. It's not a whole lot of information there. What I want to show you is the wiring diagram. So if you select the wiring diagrams, go to gas injection. You go on this wiring diagram. If you want to see that circuit, you can go ahead and click on that wire or line and it'll tell you that circuit. Now that little icon is going to give you the component list. And on that component list you can see it's going to tell you if there's a card or if there's an image on that component. Uh, the image is just what it is. It's a picture of that component and then that card is going to give you information on that component like how to test and all that. Here's your technical data sheets. We saw that in the uh, lever configuration. Your nominal values and guided diagnosis is going to give you code information what to do when you get that code and what it means in the solution. So this is a good bit of information on those. Okay, then we'll click on the da technical data and maintenance. This is a new feature text added with the 15, uh, version 15. So here you see we have the time and chain and the information on that. Here's your technical specifications. You give you your displacement, your oil, anything like 
you can think of as your oil quality. It's a lot of that in there. And then your maintenance plan. I'll have some information on that, what to do during the service hours. Okay, so this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. This is a 2016 Merck Cruiser 6.2 liter. Thanks for watching.